2K Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Back with my old mate Rich Beam here at TPC Summerlin. I'm Luke Elvey. Rich, this opening hole, take us through it. A oh, simple little opening hole, just 409 yards. Players want to avoid that fairway bunker down the right-hand side, so they'll go off this tee with maybe a three-wood or even a two-iron. No need for the driver. Driver brings the second shot in a little bit too close. They can tuck this pin over the left-hand side and make it very challenging, but all in all, a good birdie opportunity. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Well, Luke, you're right. He did find grass, but it's not the closely mown grass. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Okay, steady now. He's got a par part here let's see if he can make it well that hole's behind us more to play starting the round at even par the second at tpc summerland is a par four measuring 469 yards from the back tee it plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Handy effort, that one. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Woo, back there, horsey. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. 16 feet to the cup. Get excited. This could go in. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Let's head out to the sixth hole. Sitting at minus three, 
trying to break into the top 10. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Ooh, almost went in. A wonderful shot. Well played. A chance for Booty here at the sixth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. This one, about 130 yards in. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. This one could take a little bounce to the left. They're yeah, well played. Birdie at the last. This for another. Gallant attempt. Big putt for Pai coming up. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Currently one under for the tournament. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. And this effort by Justin Thomas. And here we are with the third shot. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. This one's going right at the pin here. That goes down for an eagle. That'll help make a big move. And back to the course with the live action. Sitting at one under. Should find the green here. Good shot there. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. This one's looking good. Opportunity to make their par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Now seven shots behind after that.
The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. Opting for the five iron. Wonderfully played. 19 feet to the cup. Oh, so close. Just three feet to the cup. Now, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. The excitement, it's starting, you can hear it. <laughs> Time to recap Bryson DeChambeau's effort from just a little while ago. Good look here for a second shot. That's an absolute peach. Well played. Second shot here on the sixth. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. That's just inside the range. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Ooh. Three feet to go here to the hole. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Currently one under for the round. And moving down the leaderboard as well. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here, and try and make a birdie. Nicely done. Sitting at one under the card.
And he's safely on the green with that shot. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? He's got about 26 feet, as far as I can tell. It was on a good line. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, guys, I'm here on the eighth hole. This is Patrick Cantley's next shot. Setting up here with a very long putt. Looking great now. And down she goes from outside the range. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. This one's for birdie. take that and that will take him to two under well, it's time to head back down to the fairways John what's up mate well we're on the 12th hole guys this is Bryson DeChambeau's next shot this would be a great up and down from this spot wow that almost went in the hole that's a wonderfully played chip shot there just eyeballing that one trying to make it the leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. The ninth at TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safely in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. Mm -hmm. A thing of beauty. typically played in the fall portion of the season, but it really does have a great field these days. The Shriners Hospital for Children's Open, stays in Las Vegas, a great atmosphere around in the city. Rich, what do you like the most about it? We're in Vegas, baby. I mean, what's not to love about Vegas? And the players love it too, but they also love what the Shriners Hospital for Children is all about. They give so much money back to the charities involved. It's wonderful. They bring a lot of the kids out and the players understand it they know it so as much as they love coming to vegas you know letting their hair down a little bit a lot of it has to go back to the charity component and that's why they come the golf course is fun you can free will it out here it is the beginning of the year they want to come out and they want to make some birdies they want to test out new equipment they want to test out new swing theories they want to come out and work on their game a little bit in a competitive environment and there's no better environment than this because they can go out and see where they're at because it's usually no wind, warm conditions, and you can get a good judge of exactly where their game's at. So I think players use this as a building block for the next year's play. And what a venue. I mean, it, it's just you get rewarded for good shots, you get penalized for bad ones, but 
it's a really good environment to go out there and, like I said, test new swing theories, work on your game a little bit, and kind of see where you're at. And it never hurts to make a fast start to the new season. Of course, this is part of that wraparound schedule. And if you're catching a few shows as well or hitting into the casinos, well, you get a complete week, don't you? Wow, I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of fun in Las Vegas, is there? As long as it stays in Las Vegas. Out a boy, good shot. Sitting at three under par. Gee, I wish I could play like this myself. More chance to sneak inside top 20 in the standings here with this putt. It's tracking. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Yeah. Well hold. Let's move on. And let's take a look at this shot from just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. This is how you do it seven days a week. Beamer, that was right out of your playbook. A touch of wizardry. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole, par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach to this green. Well done. A few shots under par at the moment. Yeah, that one's looking good. A wonderful shot. A chance for birdie here on the 11th. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Right by the hole. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And down it goes. Now five strokes behind. The 12th. Here at Summerlin is another short par four, 442 yards off the tits, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water that starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. You can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. He hit that pretty loose. Yep, that's a water ball. Getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Yeah, nicely played. Not looking good here for the par, but I'm telling you, there's still a chance. 
There's been action of plenty all over this course. Why don't we head back to the 13th for this great shot? And how about this shot from Patrick Cantlay? Nicely done from close range. Let's return to live play now. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Get in. Oh, absolute stunner. And let's have one more look at that shot. Trailing by five shots after that hole. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with a tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you've given yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three putt it. Be careful on approach. That was a little untidy, wasn't it? John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, they're going to need to be careful getting out of this one. It is deep, deep into this rough. Yeah, that's the right option. You should never compound an error with another one. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Five shots off the lead. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Well, this one's right at the pin. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Good chance to take it even deeper here. This putts for four under. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. Oh, that's frustrating. And this one is for his par. Job done. Let's head to the next. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three, playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long putt. Going with the eight iron here. Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Let's take a look at this from just a couple of moments ago. One of the stars of the game, Bryson DeChambeau. Don't know about you, Beamer, but I would have loved to have hit a shot of that caliber. Let's get back to it, shall we? And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. This is a long one, guys. Looks like around 37 feet to the cup. just didn't drop and they'll walk away with a par on this one and after that hole this is how the leaderboard looks 
currently at minus three for the round. The 15th at TPC Sutherland is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Well, this is exciting, a putt for an eagle. What a putt to make. Well done. And that will take him to seven under. Second shot here on the 15th. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. But in for birdie. Ouch, that hurts. Putting for par. And now at three under with those finishing holes remaining. Could take it deep here. The 16th at TPC Summerlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. A well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Lining up from about 230 yards here, five strokes behind our leader. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the pace. Just missed the hole. And a chance for a spot in the top 20 of the leaderboard if you can make this. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three playing 196 yards. Jonathan Bird once famously holed out in the playoff here to snatch the title. The green shapes right to left towards the hazard. So make sure if you're gonna go for it, be very accurate.
Going with the five iron here. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Yeah, a quality shot, that. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. He's in the bunker. Not sure how this one's lying. John? Yeah, that ball really dug into this bunker. It's, uh, she's deep, boys. She's deep. Mm -hmm. Handy out of the bunker there. A chance for the top ten here if we can make this. Oh, just missed. You can make this one. It's for par. And that puddle drop. Well done. He's in a share of 15th. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. The 18th at TPC Sutherland is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. <laughs> Playing from around 160 yards. Pretty good win back into the player's face. Opting for the six iron. Outstanding approach shot. That's been an impressive display today. This for a 66. And that will do it. His work is done here. Well, this player should be pretty happy with their work this week. That confirms a top 10 finish. Top 10s are always good, Luke. It gives you some confidence going into the next tournament. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.